Good morning. Send Rosie out. Brisk out here. <laughs> She slept here at some six thirty. And yes, I thought I might do a vlog today. I should be able to see me at the moment. Put the light on. Not much has improved health-wise. Um, I thought I was on pain meds, but apparently I'm on anti-inflammatories. But they've helped a lot with the pain. I've got a sore neck this morning from sleeping in one position. <laughs> But um, everything else is I'm still get out of breath really easily and things like that. But I'm not in quite as much pain as I was. Can't do much. I won't be very excited for long. But I thought, well, this is my farm. We'll document this stage. Even <laughs> Rosie back in. I'm gonna document all these few weeks I've been like. And um, yeah, I've missed chatting to you all. The house cleaners came yesterday, but. I think I made crepes last night. Mm. <laughs> They're doing Bastille Day at school, so she's making crepes to take in. And I'm going to start with a cup of tea. No cycling today, they're having a rest day. So I'm still enjoying lots of the Tour de France. Um, Athena's been great, she's been looking after me. She's been organising the house, she's um, organised all the menus and food and doing those lunches and stuff. So I, don't, I haven't got much to do. Um, she's in charge and if, if I say can I do such a no I'll do it so and Chrissy's just started to help out a little bit so between the two of them I'm well looked after just been watching some YouTube and cleaning out my inbox actually on my email when the family were here but they've all gone off to work now snoozy puppies I can't move my neck oh any more than that that far to the side. I can't believe now I've got a crimp neck. My family are a bit slack this morning. No, a bit sleepy. And um, so they haven't done a dishwasher. They haven't done a bird. So I'm going to have to try and um, do a few things as I can. <laughs> um, what's the problem with my neck? I'm going to try and drive the car, but I can't turn my head. I turn it that way. I just can't turn it that way. Oh, that's ridiculous. Um. Yeah, so they've headed off, so I guess I'll go wake Charlie up and I'm not making another cup of tea. And now I'm um, really funny with my food lately. I don't, I've been really sort of feeling like certain things, or not feeling like certain things, and like I never know what I want. What if I breakfast yesterday? I had some cereal yesterday, some of that cereal that I like. And the day before I had banana on toast, it's like. I actually want an omelette, but I don't often feel up to making stuff. I'll say I'm, I'm, I think I'm slightly better today. And I, I, every time I think that, every time I think I feel quite good because I'm sitting there doing nothing, so I get up and then I don't feel so great. Either. But let's attend to little Charlie. So I'm just having another cup of tea and some cheer cookies. My last two cheer cookies. I don't know if I'm well enough to make more or not. <laughs> and baby's looking on, aren't you, darling? These all left me. Now it's time for me to drag myself up the stairs. <laughs> I don't do it too many times a day at the moment. I just do it as necessary because it exhausts me just getting up the stairs. So, but I am going to go have a shower. I had a bath last night, so I could actually probably skip it. So I'm putting my shoes on. Um, but I want to wash my hair. So, yeah, and obviously, um, and my neck's getting a bit better. I think I'm actually really sick of being in the house. I haven't left the house 
besides doctor's appointments in like a week and a half. Um, what day is it? Is it Tuesday? Yeah, so <laughs> in over a week, we well, yeah, I've only been to doctor's appointments. <laughs> so barely out. Don't think, I don't think you've been out yet this morning, mate. And it's another lovely day out there. Look at that. Oh. Oh. I miss my life. Do you want to go out too, Rosie? She put Charlie out. I've already been here and as far as we got. <laughs> yes, I miss my life. Hold my life back. Oh, she wants to go too. I need to stand back there anyway. Painted my nails yesterday. It's a new navy colour, or a fairly new colour that I've got. <laughs> Tinkled toes. I was that sick. I hadn't even had nail polish on for probably five days or so. I know it's quite a week. But that's when you know I'm sick when I can't even bother to paint my nails. Oh dear. I better get fixed soon. It's been six months now. I actually was looking back at my old vlogs yesterday and it's been over six months since my first video when I talked about shortness of breath, which in hindsight I don't know whether that was to do with a lot of iron, probably. And this is probably a separate issue. Oh, with my iron, I've got to retest my iron and my iron stores are like through the roof, like they're really, really too high. I don't know if it's a problem to be too high, but they are. But the iron in my blood is now low, and it's always been fine. So, I don't know. I think at the moment she's just worried about the lungs, and then we look at other things further down the track. Can you believe we still haven't got our winter quilt on, and we're still not even using the blue blanket hardly at all at night. And it's now at the end of July. Not quite sure what's happened to our winter this year, but the nights aren't even that cold. I've had my shower, and I've still been suffering... A bit with dry skin, so I dug out this um, Clinique moisturizer. I don't know him by Clinique, but I bought this for um, flying, like for being on a long haul flight. So, they quite new, quite nourishing. So, I um, thought I'd use, I use it up anyway too, because it's probably past, probably past its expiry date. Two years, so I didn't really use it, it be two years old anyway, because I bought it, I think, in America. So, all I've got on is that. And this Crazy Rivers Peppermint Twist Lip Balm. Which doesn't really taste that much, that one. That was this one I got from iHerb. So, that's all on my face. I haven't worn makeup oh, for probably about two weeks as well. It's just the bare basics at the minute. <coughs> there might be dad or mum come to your door for a walk. I have been wearing a bra. I've actually got clothes on today, so that's a step up. Because half the time I just wear jammies, or more than half the time I've been wearing jammies. But I'm probably in trouble for Athena because I've got some washing here to put on. But she um she said not to worry about doing it today, but there's quite a bit there, so I'll um, put it on and hang it out. But so I'll probably get in trouble because she told me not to bother. Um, we really just did done every day, I do ours every two days, and the girls every two days. So uh, I'll put it on. In the shower I had all this plan and thinking oh, I could make some soup and I could make some cheer cookies and I'll get out the shower and dry myself and I'm exhausted again. <laughs> so oh, I think I'll put this on, have some breakfast and I'll, I'll see. I just I think I just want to do things that feel normal, even vlogging. Like, it's probably going to be a very exciting vlog for you guys but it just feels normal. That's how I feel like I'm a normal human being. <laughs> well, I'm not making a bit of progress today. I actually managed to make a smoothie. And it's actually a greenless mango smoothie because it's exactly the same <laughs> smoothie as I always make except I didn't have any spinach or kale to put in it so it's sort of a, a light brown beige colour from the brown rice protein and mango it will taste exactly the same <laughs> just doesn't have the goodness of the greens unfortunately which I probably could have used a boost of um, trying to work I'm getting back into eating better foods. And not that I've been really bad, it's just I haven't been, like I've probably been mid range, I'd say, with my food. Um, it's hard, like I said, that it's exhausted me again. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't have time to fiddle in the kitchen, but I'm kind of, smoothies haven't appealed much lately, but kind of appealed today, so I'll have that.
Uh, just a reminder guys, um, Facebook friends, you need to let me know that you're watching YouTube. Um, I've had a whole lot of requests, I don't know, maybe like 20 friend requests in the last week since I put my video up. Some I managed, I just thought I'll, I'll check, some I had the bright idea to put the names into my email and then I can see that you'd subscribed to my YouTube channel so that's where I knew you're from. I just don't accept all friend requests um, on my personal Libby with no Facebook page. So if you have sent me a friend request and I haven't accepted it, it's because I'm not quite sure who you are. So please send me a message or send me an email, Libby at withnor.com. I think you can send a personal message through Facebook. Should be able to do that. Because um, I have got some. But um, if not, let me know either on the video or whatever. Just contact me, let me know. Um, comment on this video, say you sent me a friend request and who, what your name is and I will accept it. And I've had a rash of male friend requests and I don't know where they're coming from. Do people know, how, how do people find you on Facebook who don't know who you are? Because I'm pretty sure they're not coming through YouTube. Um, I've got the, you know, a couple of guys that watch this channel and I know them, they comment. Um, I've had a, a, a just like Maybe like six male friend requests, which is that's weird. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how they're finding me on Facebook. It's weird. So that's why I don't just accept all friend requests. I've been watching Rachel's vlogs from the UK, so she's got me motivated to come work some more on my one. So I'm still doing, doing London at the minute. Oh, hello there. <laughs> um, very glary in here at the minute. Oh yeah. I love computers, I just don't know how long I worked on this stuff and it's not there. Ugh, it's the problem because the, the video is in iMovie, the original movie. Mm. Okay, what are the machines doing? It's now going to take, oh you can't see, it's going to take an hour to generate thumbnails in iMovie. I think I might try and edit in iMovie because that's where the videos are. I'm having trouble getting the clips across into Final Cut Pro, although I have done it before, but I can't remember how to work it, how to do it all. I have some lunch, it's 10 past 2, but I don't know what I want. I was like, I've got to make something myself, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> I've had soup with like a few frozen soups. But oh! <coughs> oh dear. Sorry, my back. <laughs> I'm going to spat on myself. And my back really tightened up then, all the, the lungs. Oh. That was painful. <laughs> Don't sneeze anymore, please. <laughs> so, what have I got? I've got cauliflower soup, potato and leek soup, potato and mushroom soup, cheesy potato chowder. What are you? Oh, nice. I don't know what I feel like. I don't, I don't know. Wait a bit and maybe have some cheese and crackers. <laughs> Weird lunch, but <sighs> nothing appeals. Got this delivered the other day. It's a whole year's worth of photos, well, select photos, printed out. So I've got to sit and sort them all out sometime. Haven't done, haven't done that yet either. Um, I said you have photo books for the year, but sometimes I just want some photos. You know, I still want to try and do a bit of scrapbooking or a smash book or something, so I just was very select with my photos and it didn't and it cost like fifty dollars to get all them printed, so it wasn't you know, it wasn't too much I didn't think. For a year's worth. It's a lot less than what I used to spend on photos. They just try and motivate me, but then I've not been well enough to do anything anyway. Which is frustrating. But I did get um yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you two for my lunch. Um you might recall bought me this lovely frame, lots of glare there, um, for my birthday, I think, or was it Mother's Day, I can't remember, I can't remember which one it was, and then, yeah, so I got the photo, so I had to get a photo printed for that, so that was a photo from Christmas Day, back in the days when I was actually healthy, so I was just decided, <laughs> this is like breakfast part one, lunch part one, got some of the, um, what brand are they? 
Oh, I can't remember. I can't think. Some brown rice crackers. And I'm just going to have some dip. And then later on, I think I'll have some, I've got some cream bed cheese and we'll have that. And some more crackers, like part two or some fruit or something. I just don't know what I want. But I have to eat something because I have to have my um, medicine, my inflammation medicine. So I need to have that after food. And I decided to light my apple crumble candle, which smells yummy. Mind you, my apple crumble now to eat. And Bailey, what are you doing? Bailey? Bailey? The funny boy. So it's the time of day I should be going to get the girls from school. Although Christy is going to town before drama with her friends. Um, but Dad, wonderful Dad that he is, has gone to pick up Athena from school and taking her to the hairdressers. And you pick her up from the hairdressers and take her to get some groceries and some bread that we're needing. So good. And he's um, going to take her to a appointment tomorrow too. I am not wanting to drive because my neck though I can actually look, I can turn it more now. Look, I can turn it right the way around now. <laughs> so it's not as bad as it was. Um, did you squish Bailey's head? Do you still have a head, Bailey? <laughs> look, all on one couch together. No one on this couch. That often happens. It's nice. Look at him. He likes to lift up his leg. And I can rub the inside of his leg. <laughs> his scratch. That's his favourite spot for a scratch. I guess he can't really scratch himself there. He's funny. Let's watch more videos. Okay, but lunch part two, or afternoon tea, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And my dad's so good, just put in the washing for me. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes I just forget. Usually I'm pretty good at not taking a really deep breath, and sometimes you just forget or you just pick up or um, just inhale deep in the way you expect. Gasp or anything like that. And it can... It's funny though, actually, I did the other day. I um, I think I, I think I hiccuped and I went, oh, and then I thought, I didn't actually hurt. <laughs> it was like a preempted owl. Because usually it does. Even that wasn't too bad. I did feel that. But the other day I thought, no, I didn't even feel anything. And here you go, oh. Because you just, it, it's made how quickly you get conditioned. You just, as soon as you hiccup something, you expect it to hurt. And that time it didn't hurt. So, um, I think I mentioned to you I had one really, really bad episode. I don't know if I did or not. I can't remember. I had one really bad episode last week. I came in before or after the doctors now, I don't remember, and I was in absolute agony, but I happened to, I think I hiccuped when I was standing up and the pain was just excruciating. This was obviously before I went to the doctors and stuff, and then the anti-inflammatory pain made and Athena had seen me and she realized, I think that was when Petra went flat, yeah, and she realized I was in, in a lot of pain and it wasn't just the normal, what I've been dealing with this year, so that was quite scary, but it only happened to happen the once, I think it was... Perhaps because I was standing up at the time, whereas usually when I'm sitting down, it's the pain. While at times it was intense, it was nothing like that time when I was caught off guard and I was standing up. But the anti-inflammatories have really helped a lot. Um, just need to get all better and get some energy back. And, um, I, think la and I think last night, the first night, I hadn't had like a, a night sweat. Every other night I've had at least one. So... I know I can't get better on my own without, you know, something being done. <laughs> I've got a growth in the top of my lung and fluid all around the lung, so that's not going to go away by itself, but the anti-inflammatories are helping a lot in the meantime. And I um, lost my train of thought, so I'll have my crackers and cheese. <laughs> so, I just think it's home now, and I just remembered that I wanted to say thank you so much for all the lovely comments. Um, on my health update video it's probably about 45 comments or so so I'm probably not going to bother to reply to them all I'd be saying is thank you anyway um, I'll check with any questions but um, otherwise thanks <laughs> for your support and um, well wishes <laughs> and um, yes hopefully on Thursday I will know where we're going and hopefully it's going to happen I hope I'm going to get fixed up very soon I'm just running a bath. I've got my box out. 
And I think I might try these. We bought these at Disney World so a year and a half ago. I think I might throw a few of these in. My stash is getting rather low. I don't know what this was. I used it last night in the bath and it was um, not very nice. I feel like this is like a soap, but it doesn't really smell good. So I don't know what it even is. So we don't do that. Fuzzy's trying to tell me something. What are you looking at, Fuzzly? What is it that you want? Well, there's two puppies, and there's only one of these. You really want it, don't you? Maybe I can find another one for Rosie. I don't know why. They chew them up and they actually eat them. Barely started doing it and then Rosie copied. It's like the bestest treat in the whole wide world. We don't let them do it very often because I'm sure it's not good to eat these. We do use what recycled toilet paper stuff, so I don't know if it makes any different. <laughs> I'll find one for you, Rosie. It's okay, we found one for Rosie too. Good girl. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Well, that was very nice. I feel nice, refreshed and relaxed and warm as you often get after a bath. So, um, the rest of the family should be home at half an hour and um, Athena's organising dinner tonight. As she has it the other night, she's been so good. So I'll go and relax back on the couch again. So Athena's been kind enough to make dinner. So, was that, was that a corn pie, Athena? Yes. Yeah. But the corn pie, it sounded nice, I saw it. So we've got potato and we've got some honey carrots. You're so cute. With just a few minutes until boarding 60 passengers on the first A380 flight. My little friend's lying in front of the heater again. You're so funny, Bailey. You're the strangest dog. How hot are you? Oh, it's hard to bend over. Oh, he's so hot. <laughs> Even a funny boy. <laughs> okay, I'm heading off to bed now. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog and it wasn't too boring. Yes, it's bedtime. It's nine o'clock. And you said you were tired, so you should be going to bed. You're already back. Oh, yes, it's Christy. Oh gosh, that's exciting in my video. Thank you for that. <laughs> no, you no, help me in the video, have you? No. Oh, where's she? Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. So, I will, um, not sure when I'll vlog again, probably in a couple of days. See how I'm going, see what happens with my doctor's appointment on Thursday. Anyway, <laughs> hope you're well, and I'll see you again in a few days. Okay, bye.